Hey, what's up guys? Nate here. So we finally received another community update for Apocalypse Rising 2. These first few sentences here talk about how they've been really quiet about Apocalypse Rising 2 development. So let's go ahead and read this off. The slowest part of development is most definitely the programming aspect. Hublox 2 is Apoc 2's sole programmer, and he's been chugging away at this massive project for nearly nine months now. You may be thinking that we should hire more programmers, but on Roblox, the benefits of having one mind running the code far outweighs the benefits of faster development. This may change someday, but slow and steady wins the race. However, regardless of the slow development, we do now have a semi-playable prototype. In our current build of APOC 2, you can run around with most of the character's animations, pick up basic loot, and hold firearms in your hand. The level of detail system also works really well, and so far the game performs great on the alpha map. Wow, Gus Fnack, sounds like you barely have anything, but there's obviously more to the AR2 build than that. The truth is that everything they have gameplay-wise is of significant quality. Honestly, swinging your gun around that doesn't stick straight out from your arms looks and feels absolutely incredible. The character's animations are beautiful, and the sense of speed you get from sprinting is highly satisfying. We're still quite a ways from feeling confident in showing all this off, but I assure you that when we do, it won't look like a pre-alpha, it will look like a refined product. First impressions are important, so I don't want to waste the opportunity on a subpar demonstration. With any luck, we'll blow your minds. Map development is really steaming ahead. The University Island is what I have planned to be the map for Alpha. You may notice there's no University yet. This is likely to be one of our next goals. Other than the Lighthouse, Observatory, and University, the island has a handful of small unique locations disguised as normal buildings. Secret rooms, tunnels, bunkers, basements? All of these are possible, and I think you'll enjoy stumbling across these subtle secrets. After we implement the university, we will likely move on to the prison and NF-17A's island. If these locations are completed before the rest of the alpha is ready, they may very well be available in that version of the game. So what about the normal parts of the map? Well, we currently have about 70 normal structures. Houses, service buildings, sheds, you name it. Half of these structures are variants of the originals. That may sound cheap, but you would be surprised how easy it is to make completely different versions of the same structure. Here's two variants of the same house. We're still working on expanding our selection of floor textures, but in this image you can see what's possible when it comes to diversifying APOC 2 structures. And don't worry, there's still a lot more structures to build. As for the layout of towns, here's a top-down view of Town 4. All of this is subject to change, of course, but you can see how much more open the space is compared to towns in APOC. At first, you may not like this idea, but remember that in the full game, there will likely be larger towns on the Big Island, with more dense centers. This is just another way I'll be diversifying the map. Every town should have a different feel to it, and the layouts of the towns will reflect that. However, in places like Town 4, you can imagine how much more strategic the gameplay will be. The complex interior of every structure, how tall they are, whether or not they have roof access, their position in the town, and their position relative to geographical features cliffs, hills, etc. will all have to be considered when planning an approach. Now ask yourself how many of these factors were significant in Apox towns. Mostly because once you arrive at a town in Apoch, you can pretty much disappear into the buildings because they're so dense. And again, if alpha testing reveals that there's a flaw in the more spread out array of buildings, they're going to do everything they can to solve this. As far as art assets go, a handful of the contractors are pretty busy this semester. But since work on firearms, vehicles, clothing, etc. was started so long ago, we're still in a good position. I do hope we'll show off some of our clothing soon though, so keep an eye out for that. But the big news is that I have an artist making Apoch 2's first shipwreck. It's really close to being complete, and I will most certainly show it to you once it all gets there. But what makes it so awesome is that the decks above the hole will be enterable. You'll be able to travel through the ship up to the bridge and shoot out of the windows with ease. From a gameplay perspective, the shipwreck is going to be an awesome, unique location in APOC 2. Keep an eye out for screenshots. So yeah, guys, I'm happy we finally get another community update for Apocalypse Rising 2, and I can't wait to see what the next community update brings. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out, guys.